Hello and welcome to Community Reports on Channels Television. I'm Jomi Otaigwe. Today our attention is on some of those people who help to create the reality we now live in. Through technology, they build infrastructure. I'm talking about those who are involved in a branch of science and technology which has to do with designs, structures and the use of engines and machines. It's a feature on the community of engineers in Nigeria. With an estimated 42,000 registered members across the country, we'll be focusing more on how they construct our roads and buildings, see how much progress has been made, and their prevailing challenges. They are cut out to invent, design, build and improve structures, machines and other tools through the application of science, social and practical knowledge. From the ancient era to modern times, the efforts of engineers who operate in the various disciplines of engineering have resulted in meeting the ever-changing societal and consumer needs. The Dean of the Faculty of Engineering at the University of Lagos, who is a Professor of Civil Engineering Funsho Falade looks back on how engineering has evolved in Nigeria. The genesis of engineering actually emanated from the concept of the need to develop national infrastructure, engineering infrastructure. And uh, precisely, um, I can't say when actually uh, this program has start, uh, started in Nigeria, but I recall that long ago, Yaba College of Tech uh, have uh, some engineering discipline. I attended Yaba College of Technology. Uh, at that time, I did uh, um, a quantity survey uh, recently, but uh, uh, subsequently, we have it evolving in a uh, university, the first generation of university of uh, ABU, of University of Lagos, uh, Unsuka. And then different courses started kicked off from different universities. The field of engineering is wide, from automotive to agricultural, petroleum to chemical, mechanical, civil, electrical and systems engineering to mention but a few. A member of this team, Arthur Osiago, an electrical engineer, explains that when it comes to engineering, it's all about teamwork. Engineering in Nigeria is evolving, you know, we, we have the electrical engineers, of course, you, you know, we have civil engineers, uh, structural engineers, we have the mechanical engineers, we have petroleum engineers, we have uh, avionics, and so many, so many, so wide. Then um, there are other aspects of engineering that is not um, very, very prevalent here uh, in the area of uh, bioengineering, you know, medical field. And we are not really that strong here in Nigeria yet. But the areas where uh, Nigerian engineers are applying their trade, I think they are doing very, very well. I'll just give you a very simple example. If you look at the construction industry, like the building, a building, for example, you have uh, the architect that will come up with the concept, the structural engineers will have to do what we call uh, the load distribution, if it's actually a high rise, maybe more than two, three, four, five, six floors. Then they will have what we call the M&E, which is the mechanical and electrical engineering. Uh, those ones are also very key. The mechanical engineering will do things like all the air conditioning system, all the airflow system. But the electrical engineers will provide life into the building. 
the electrical system, uh, the wiring and everything that will make the building come up the way it should be. So the civil engineer will do the normal building, you know, the physical building and the structures. So if it's left for the only, I mean, for civil engineers only, of course, they can, they can do it. So engineering is um, a complete teamwork. So nobody can function in isolation in engineering. This is a residential building. One of the few female engineers in Nigeria, Mansura Alagbe, a civil engineer and consultant at this building site, tells us about her job. We have to make sure that what is, in the, is, is, what is on the paper is actually being transferred to the actual ground. So the consultant, the consultant that has designed has to come around as well, be it male or female, that okay, have they put all what is on the paper, have they put it in place? And at the same time, again, not everything that happened on paper is feasible on actual ground. Because paper, you can do whatever you like there. But by the time you get to this time, you realize that there's some things that may not work. You have to think of, okay, how else can you bring it out? So when we come around like this, we check, especially all the structural elements, like the beam, the slab, the columns, whether they have been placed properly. So if there's any hindrances, maybe they will not be able to work there. We have to go back to the office to go back to the design. Okay, this is the best way to let it happen on site. So that's why we come around, check what they have done, the quality of the job, the methodology they're putting in place. Because one thing is for you to design. Another thing is the kind of construction they're, they're using, the kind of construction method they're using on site, and the kind of method, the placement, everything. And when I say consultancy, we're actually into the quality control of, the, what I mean by quality control, the kind of material they use, how they do the mix, because in the design, when the design is being done, it is specified that, okay, maybe you should use grade 25, grade 20, grade... So you have to come to site and make sure that the mix they have prepared, that is the concrete mix they have prepared, is actually to that standard. She also shares efforts being made to get more females into the fold. We're few compared to the numbers of male, but at the same time, we're coming up. That's what most of our groups, female groups, especially APEM, that's the Association of Professional Women Engineers of Nigeria. That's what we're really working on. We go as low as second, um, primary schools to, you know, mentor them, to let them know that there's a lot in STEM, STEM, that's science, technology, engineering, mathematics. There's a lot there. That when you come to engineering, you're ready to provide solutions to the world. You're ready to make the world comfortable. So we're really, we go for career talk here and there to let the female student know that they have a lot to gain in engineering.